Yo. Hey, guys. Well, you know I haven't posted a video in a long time. I'm sorry. But I thought I might show you how to make some slime today. Okay? And I'm going to show you my slimes. Okay? We're going to make this really fluffy slime right here. So, yeah. Be prepared. It's awesome. Yeah, it's really awesome. Let's get into the video. Okay, so today we are going to be making this really fluffy slime right here. You probably can't see it's in the container. And this is a small container. It's like the size of my ear. Okay, so all you're going to be needing is some, ah, some PVA glue. It can be white or clear, but if it's clear, you're, it's not going to turn out clear. It's going to turn out white. Unless you color it, of course. But, um... So this is Elmer's school glue. You can use Elmer's all glue or something. And then you're going to need some shaving foam, not gel foam. And this is actually a new bottle, so shake it up before you use it, of course. Spray, okay? And then you're going to need some contact solution or saline solution for, like, your contacts and stuff. Okay, so I just used a multi-purpose solution. And then you're going to need something to, like, put in. This is a container, like, I don't have a lid for it because I'm using this container to put it in. And this is my mixing container, obviously. Sorry. I'm getting stuff. And then you're going to need something to uh, mix with, which is in my other slime, which sucks. So I got it stuck in there. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And make sure, like, whenever you put, um, the slime in a container, like, the container is, like, sealed. And not, like, any holes in it. Okay? Let's get started. So first, so first you're going to start off with the glue. And you're going to just pour a little bit in here. Or as much as you want, basically. And, um, I used, like, half my bottle. I was supposed to get glue today, but guess what? Me stupid forgot. I'm not using that much. I'm just going to, like, use a little bit. I mean, of course, you can use much more and make bigger portions. But... And basically, I will, like, I just use, like, not even that much. It's so, like, ah, it's spilling. And I like to stir this up to make it thicker, but you don't have to because the stirring part right here isn't really necessary. It's just for me to make it, like, thicker and stuff. And you may be wondering, oh, what is she using? It's a broken plastic spoon spoon head broke off so yeah and now you're going to get out your shaving cream and i'm just measuring this all based upon how much elmer's glue so i'm getting out my shaving cream and i'm doing like more than what i put so um like here's a tip on how to spray this like put it up to the side and just like shoot don't like spray over it oh crap So, I put in like that much. It may seem like a lot, but you can always add more glue later. And now I'm mixing the two together. But at the same time, I want to make sure all this shaving cream is like oh. And if it still like isn't sticky, that means like you need more glue. Like, but it can't be like all glue. You know, it has to be like shaving cream to make it thicker. Of course, you don't have to use this much shaving cream. And you can use, um, for a substitute for shaving cream, you can use, um, foam. I'm pretty sure it's arrow foam or something. Soap. Like, where the soap is foamy. You can use that. But... And then for the last step, after mixing this... You add your contact solution, and basically, don't do that much at a time. Just, like, add a couple, like, drips or something. At a time, of course. And then mix in between each one. And, oh my gosh. And if you need to, add more glue or add more shaving cream. Because if it, like, whenever you touch it after mixing it with the, um, whenever you touch it, sometimes, like, it makes these white marks on your finger. That means you need to add, like, 
more saline solution or more glue. I preferably add both. So, yeah. I just added a little more saline solution and some more glue. But um, if you don't have contact solution or saline solution, you can um use detergent. That works, and you don't even have to add the shaving cream. But um, the shaving cream just makes it fluffier. And basically play with it till it gets like fully molded. And whenever it's fully molded, that's when I like to add my um color. And I actually have these like palette of like eyeshadows that I never used, and I just like to color it with that. So. But, um, as you see, I'm just, like, playing with it. I'm not, like, putting it all over my hands because then it'll get stuck and it'll be a waste. So, I'm just, like, tapping it around and moving it. So, yeah. That's what I would do it until it gets, like, fully wrapped. I don't know if I already said this, but, like, I paused the video for a long time. So. Um, another substitute for saline solution is detergent. Yeah. And so, now that I've gotten it off the bowl... Like mostly off the ball. This ball's clear. I just like again start playing with it and making it like good. And if you want sticky slime, which I prefer sticky slime, but this isn't that sticky. Add more glue. Like add extra glue to the end whenever you get like finished with it and it gets moldable. So yeah, this right now is like fluffy. The, it's a fluffy freaking ball. So, yeah. I mean, it turns out better. I'm going to add some, some more saline solution to my hands next time. Sorry, I can't get it open. I'm going to put some in my hands and then move it all around so it doesn't get stuck to me anymore. It's still going. Ha! Huh, Jesus. Um, sorry. Um, well, now I'm putting more, like, saline solution in my hands and rubbing around. I'm not, like, fully rubbing it in, but I'm just, like, lightly glazing it, basically. That's so what I'm supposed to do. Now is the interesting part. really really fluffy so um yeah this is really long yep I'm just going to um uh... okay i'm gonna show you my other slimes now but i gotta put this away okay so i have this um really cool speckled slime and um it's right here actually And, um, yeah. And, uh, you might not be able to see it, but it's, like, speckled with these blue dots and stuff. It's, like, speckled everywhere with blue dots. 
And um, I made this the same way as the other one, except I added less shaving cream. And I played with it more. So then it got, like, down. And, yeah, and um, the speckles are actually ripped up pieces of clay. Like, it doesn't dry out clay. It's oven-baked clay. Not air dry. It would be horrible if it was air dry. It's, um, it's kids' clay. It's not Crayola clay, because that stuff, like, blends into the slime of bird. But, um, yeah, it's just, like, this off-brand of clay. And it has little cool little speckles. Yeah. So that is one of my slimes. And, um, yeah. So if you want to make that, just, like, do the same thing in this video, except add less shaving cream. And, um, add speckles of clay. Ripped up pieces of clay. And, um, this... Yeah, I know I make a lot of, like, it's a really disgusting colored slime, but it's okay. It's, like, sort of drippy, but, um, I like drippy, so, yeah. And, um, <laughs> sorry, this video is getting really long. Um, but, um, this was the same way. This is the same way as we made that one. My friend actually made the first part of this, because there's actually two slimes in here. One is a slime that's made that way, except, actually, no. One was made, yeah, sorry, I have short-term memory loss, so. No, okay, so my friend Madison and my friend Adriana made two different slimes, and Adriana made this really like, drippy slime this way, except I don't think she used a lot of shaving cream, but I don't know. And then Madison, she, um... She made one with the laundry detergent and glue, and that one got hard, but the other one was super drippy, so I mixed them together, and this is what it made. So, yeah. And now it's, like, really awesome. But yeah. But we played with Madison's for a long time before, because it was, like, really, really hard. It was sort of like a rock, but you could sort of mold it. And I actually have Adriana slime up here. So this is the really drippy slime, and um, I added shaving cream to this. So um, if I like leave it out in the container for like two days without playing with it, it like sort of gets crunchy-ish. As you can tell, it's like this orange color, and the other hard slime was blue. So. Yeah, and so. This has actually crushed up yellow Orbeez, so. And it's really cold, so, yeah. And, um, I have, like, a couple more slimes, but they sort of, like, failed. They're, like, hard now, and so there's no point in showing you. So, and, um, if you want, like, any other tips, like, so you can make sh slime with, you know, with liquid starch, liquid starch, and glue, Adriana made a really soft slime with that. It was fun for her. Yeah. So, bye guys. Yay.